because I was getting bored with the game, obviously fed up with Con Man, and because they weren't bringing out any new event cards, it felt like they were never going to bring out set 4. And I just saw one application updated plans for Zombies Heroes and I got it and the backgrounds change. And I knew the background was going to change when set 4 came out. So I'm basically certain this is set 4. And to be honest, all the way I'm excited about the new cards, what I'm even more excited for, more than the new cards, is how many sparks I'm going to have. Oh my god. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm sad that Leprechaun Imp will no longer be like a beast like it, like it was. And, I mean, I agree it was overpowered, but I think it was overpowered in a way that was beneficial to the game. Because it was overpowered that, in a way that encouraged good decks instead of aggro crap. Oh, oh wow, that reset started quickly. I wanted to get to 39. Oh well. Five packs to kick it off. Not exactly from set four or anything, but... Okay. Oh, this looks different. Why they set it out like this? It's a bit weird. Oh, that's a lot of uncommons. I think that means that this is going to be pretty trash. Even for five packs, that's quite a lot. Um, Not too many... Oh, never mind! I was about to say, not too many rares though, so maybe we'll get some... Oh! That makes four Captain Cucumbers! So this kind of sucks, but whatever. It's 250 sparks, so I'm not going to complain. So this video isn't going to have anything in it, um, like any games in it, but it's basically going to be really satisfying because you're going to see me. I don't know, again, if you um, like watching this or not, but for anyone who does like watching this, you're going to see a lot of sparks. Oh wait, I can just recycle extras now. Ent entering season 702. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing that's a glitch. See that news? Yep! Oh, Triassic Triumph. Oh, man. Yeah, that's just extreme playing fusion. Okay. Welcome pack. Let's see. Let's have a look. Let's see what we get. Yeah, I've already seen this card pack. It looks pretty cool. I think that's the best looking one so far. Right, so I get to talk about some of the set four cards here. Oh, eh. I'll try that out. So, okay, first of all, we have Killer Whale. When this was a three-two-two, I thought it was good. When it became a two-two-one, I think it's better. I don't think this is going to be broken, but the fact that you can put zombies in the water and give them plus two plus one for just two brains seems pretty good to me. And it's also a pet, so it's an activator for pet decks. I don't think that's going to be very useful, but I mean. If people are playing pet decks in this meta, that's going to be important. I'm actually going to keep the little buddies. I do think that little buddy is a good card. Go. Um, yeah, I'm getting rid of these. Even though they're zero cost, I don't think that's going to be good. These, I think, are a really good card to say they're uncommon. I don't think they're going to be like game breaker or anything, but I think they're going to, they're going to be pretty good. Uh, though not not many people have mentioned them. This I don't expect to be good. You would have to have at least three zombies to be on board for that to be even close to worth it. And for you to get any good value, you'd need four, which means one in every ground lane. Doesn't seem very likely. Um, lava seems meh. Grizzly pair only good for budget decks. If you're if you got less sparks, this would be great at the lower leagues because if you put this in the water, then you might have enemies who don't have solutions. Pumpkin shell. I feel like it's gonna get outclassed by pea pod, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. Um, anyway, here comes the fun part though. The spark value, oh my god. The spark value of a whole bunch of the cards that I have has gone up because they've been nerfed. Um, let's see, how much does it... Yes, I can recycle this for 2,000. They increased the cost of this to 2,000. I was scared they'd put it back to 1,000 when they let you get all your money back. Oh, there's Con Man. I still think Con Man's a good card, but I don't want to use it anymore because obviously I'm sick of Con Man, so I'm still going to recycle it. But if you were w w wanting to play extremely seriously, I would say that you shouldn't recycle it. Oh my god, this is going to be a lot of sparks. Okay, again, keep in mind, these cards that I'm recycling, I do think that they're still good, but I don't want to play them anymore. I'm sick of seeing these cards everywhere, and I just want to have fun. So I'm going to live that out. I made it to Ultimate League once, and that's basically all I wanted to do. Oh my god, I've had six Stompadons in my collection for far too long. 
Oh, yes! 30,000 sparks! This is crazy! Oh, man! Um... Oh, it's, um, yeah, doy, this is, I'm going to recycle all of these. Oh, yes. Oh, my, I can get eight legendaries of my choice right now. And it's only going to get up, go up. Oh, I have loads of blobs, don't I? Oh, how many, oh my God, that's a lot of blobs. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my, this is, this is going to be the, the best day of my life in Heroes. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna go as far as to say it's the best day of my life. <laughs> that's that's a bit over the top. Okay, right, um let's just get rid of whatever's trash. I'm gonna have to think about this. Like I've been thinking about it for ever since set three came out. Uh, and I heard a bit like sorry, not ever since bleh. Ever since the the nerfs were announced I've been thinking and thinking about which cards I should keep and which cards I should craft and all this, but I still don't know even now it's... Oh, that would have been a mistake. <laughs> I need four of those. Um, nah, don't want four. Don't want that. I think this could be good. Uh, I don't think it's definitely good, but I want to give it a try. I think it's worth a shot. Wow, okay, I don't even know where to start. Um, well, let's start with a set four. Oh my god, this is even worse. This card is... I believe this card will be the worst legendary in the game. So yeah, um, that's my opinion on that. But one thing I want to try... Oh man, there's so many things I want to try actually. Okay, here's what I think. A Potatosaurus looks really, really, really good. It's massive and it's untrickable, which means that this can basically not be killed by anything but deadly and bounce. Uh, and not even bounce as a trick, only bounce as a pogo. Uh, so I think that's going to be really good. Um, but it is a bit slow. Whereas this, it's also a bit slow, but I think that might be better. It's kind of hard to say. Oh man, I don't even know where to start. Um, this card, to be honest, I think this is pretty bad. Just a tempo play, really. Not worth legendary. Oh man, I still. I know all these legendaries, Gog throwing Gog, but I still don't even know where to start. Oh, 5 7. I forgot that this got buffed. Um, that one looks fun, but I'm not sure if it's going to be good. This one I think looks pretty underrated. Um, that one, if you haven't seen some of these cards yet, this is. If you dancing evolve this, this is a 4 5 6 bullseye. And it does two damage to the plant hero for every dancing card you play. And then it is dance synergy, but that's a four, five, six bullseye that does two bullseye damage for every dancing zombie you play as you evolve it. Um oh wow. I forgot what the hearty one is. Oh yeah, it's glamorous gladiator. I'm not interested in that one. Okay, there is one thing I definitely want. Check this out. If you put a zombie on top of this. You get to conjure a legendary and it costs one less. And this is only rare. So I'm getting four of these. Oh, wow. No, I'm just going to end this video here. Because I need to stop and think about what I'm doing before I craft anything. But see you guys in the next one, though.